pollution and over-reliance on fossil fuels are problems that the EU has already done a great deal to tackle. In 2014, EU governments pledged to reduce greenhouse gas emissions to 40% below 1990 levels by 2030. They also promised to increase the share of energy produced from renewable sources to at least 27% by the same date. And following 2015's historic Paris Agreement on fighting climate change, the EU once again led the way. Europe's governments announced plans to create a coordinated energy union to further reduce reliance on fossil fuels. Here in Asse, just outside the Belgian capital, Brussels, these wind turbines produce enough energy to power 6,000 homes. The project is a cooperative, co-owned and managed by local people. The turbines cost 10 million euros to build, some of which came from the EU's Res Co-op programme. Aside from the economic benefit, the cooperative creates a sense of community that allows citizens to be more involved in their energy future. But much still needs to be done. That's why the Energy Union is one of the European Union's priorities for 2017. The Parliament is pushing for the swift adoption of a package of measures called Clean Energy for All Europeans, which will help the EU meet its Paris pledges and complete the Energy Union. More also needs to be done to improve the EU's energy security by reducing Europe's dependence on imported energy.